Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuke B Videos HD9 here with the latest update for the Simpsons Tapped Out. Today we are here with the Time Travel Update Act 1 Part 3, where we have just completed all of the quests and the dialogue for Act 1, and we are now moving on to the prizes and content portion of the update. If you guys missed those previous two videos, please check those out because, like I said, that's when we went through and unlocked all the necessary buildings and decorations as well as pretty much just went through the entire quest line and got all of the housekeeping stuff out of the way. So this is my favorite part, the uh, content portion. I'm not really too interested in the uh, quests and dialogues. I like to get the content and stuff, but I know it's important for you guys to uh, kind of see how the update uh, runs and kind of get a good idea on um, the progression of the update and the quests and stuff. But... Um, we're going to do this a little bit differently since um, each update seems to be giving us um, a lot of different uh, functions and features and stuff. For instance, um, the Secret Agent update had the uh, dossier prizes. Now we have the excavation site prizes. And these aren't anything too special. Obviously we have a cool character at the end. But as for the other prizes, they're just standard decorations it looks like. And the thing about those are... Um, in order to get these, you need to do a lot of digging at your excavation site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off on unlocking these prizes until a next update. I'm sorry, until a next video. Uh, I'm probably going to have that be labeled something like the uh, excavation site prizes for the uh, update. Um, so stay tuned for that video if you guys want to see these prizes and the uh, baby T-Rex, which is kind of like the uh, best uh, prize for this track over here. So I'm going to hold off on this because it's going to take too long for me to get. Plus I'd rather just show it off in a separate video just to keep everything a little bit more organized so everyone knows what video has what content and whatnot. So right in this video we're going to go through, we're just going to get the time traveling toaster prizes for Act 1. Um, just to keep everything simple and if we have time we will move on to the store items but I don't want to push it. Um, I might just get these store items in the uh, part 4 video of this. So, now that we have all that stuff out of the way, now we can move on and unlock the prizes. So, prize one is a mammoth statue from Lisa the Skeptic. Okay, we'll place that down. It's not that big, which is pretty cool. And this will all look good over by your Springsonian Museum when you decide to decorate it. Um, we earn a couple of those Techions. Look, Stampy, it's your great-great-great-grandfather. Long, long elephant trumpet. <clears throat> what? Okay, okay. You're a different species. Thanks for the biology lesson. I was just making conversation. So let's see what happens when you click on this. Nothing, because it's dead. So <laughs> the mammoth statue doesn't do much when you click on it, but that's okay. The next prize we get is a free land token, which of course will come in handy when purchasing this new strip of land we just got. Next we have the pterodactyl nest, which looks pretty cool, but pretty creepy. So we'll place this down right here. And we got some more of those tachyons. We also got an upgrade for the panini press. The panini press now only takes 18 hours to charge. Wow, 18 hours. So, mmm, pterodactyl omelet. You are not raiding a dinosaur nest for eggs. What? I thought you were all about locally sourced food. I also want to mention uh, the Panini Press prizes as well. These ones uh, you unlock by um, unlocking, or well, collecting Techions. Um, it seems that you unlock Techions just by purchasing stuff and placing things down. Um, because these are all basically the same and they're all self-explanatory and there's nothing really cool. Um, well, I mean it's cool, but there's nothing really content portion for these. I'm not even going to waste my time showing off the Panini Press prizes because there's pretty much three basic prizes. There's the uh, cooldown upgrade, which minimizes the time, the tap radius upgrade, which um, expands the tap radius of your Panini Press, and the excavation site upgrade, which I'm not 100% sure what that one does. Maybe you can unlock more prizes quicker from your excavation site, possibly. But there's a total of 23 prizes here, and they're not really anything special. So if I don't cover these, um, don't be upset. I uh, 
kind of gave us the whole gist of them now. So you'll unlock those as we progress through the update. So the pterodactyl nest. It's pretty creepy looking. It's got those blue soulless eyes. Oh my god. Whoa. It's got like this weird smile. That's what I don't like. I think that's what makes it creepy. It's got like this weird smile to it. Like it looks like it's happy to be there. But when you click on it. It uh, starts screeching, which is very creepy. It reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to have nightmares of Jurassic Park 3 when they were in the pterodactyl dome. That brings back bad memories. Alright, so the next uh, thing we have is the Darwin, uh, Darwin fish, which I believe is a character. Hey, yep. you. Darwin fish. Does anyone know who that is? Now available in car ornament. Okay, so he goes into our prehistorian category. Nice. And we just update our Panini Press once again. We'll now capture more nearby time invaders. Awesome. So let's check out the Darwin fish. So the Darwin fish kind of just crawls around. And when you click on it, it tries to stand up, but it fails miserably and flops on its face. So that's the Darwin fish. Pretty weird, but pretty cool. So, we'll get the next prize right now. Next we have 1,000 specimens, which I believe you can use for crafting. That's what those are for. All right? Uh, there it is. Yeah, you can use those for crafting. Also, while, while I'm here, this... I, I guess this update, I'll just kind of talk about everything that I've learned about the content and stuff. Um, a lot of the crafting items, when I was going over the crafting items and stuff, I got a bit confused because we kind of went from the Act 1 stuff to Act 2 to Act 3, and then somehow we went back to Act 1, and it was a bit confusing. The thing with these items over here, from the prehistoric foliage over to the grog barrel... These are items that you have to that you have to win from the excavation prize track. So if we go over here, the these two prizes right over here, this one and this one are exactly the same as this one and this one. Well, this prehistoric foliage is a bit different, but it's uh oh, it's this one. Um so anyway, so in order for us to be able to get these we must earn them from the excavation site first. So these are two prizes with the excavation site. These over here are going to be two prizes with the excavation site for the Act 2. And same with these two for Act 3. So if you can't craft them now, don't be too concerned. You have to wait until at least Act 3 to be able to unlock all of them. So that's the deal with those. So yeah, I've learned quite a bit. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, so anyway, we have the Dinosaur Lake, which is our next prize. We will unlock that. Place this down, and I'm happy because it's not that big. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, but it's good to see that it's not. Look, it's Nessie. Dad, that's a brontosaurus. A, gen a, gen a genus of the sauropoda. And don't say, mmm, brontosaurus burgers. I wasn't even gonna. Alright. So, let's check out what this thing does. Huh, cool. So when you click on it, the brontosaurus goes down and drinks from his little lake. It's pretty cool, actually. I like that uh, animation. So that's pretty cool. That's probably my favorite prize so far. Might be my, pr my favorite prize in this whole track. And next we have Moe's Cavern. Which comes with Caveman Mo. We have so many caves in this game, I swear. I have no idea what to do with all of them. Now it just looks silly because we Get have up. a thousand caves. So where come. I'll make an update hey, all the caves in Tab Down. Anyway, I always go with three. The number of brothers and sisters I uh, hunger gamed in the womb. Caveman Mo. Okay, so... He goes into our prehistorians category, and is he a full-fledged character? I think he is. 
I don't think he's. I don't think he's a costume. The penny he pressed now only takes twelve hours to recharge. Awesome. I think he's a full out character. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't. Yeah, I think he is. So here's Moe's cavern over here. The uh, building sound is somebody pouring a nice cold glass of brew. Watering down the water is the building task. Earns 35 cash and 3 XP every 59 minutes. Well, every hour. Um, and let's check out Caveman Mo. Oh, I'm just thinking about a, a great <clears throat> tennis match I saw once. What's up, Mo? You're looking the same as always. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, come on. You honestly can't tell me apart from this Neanderthal. He's an honest-to-goodness caveman. Huh. Does he understand the concept of money? Nug. Good. Then I'm ordering my beers from him from now on. Make Caveman Mo be mistaken for Mo. Uh, actually, I'm half monster, half Armenian. Pick your poison. Oh, so here's Caveman Mo right here. And here's regular Mo over here. So, they did a sci-fi update on us and gave us two completely different characters, which I suppose I'm happy with. Um... I guess in theory they are technically different characters, but it's just going to be kind of weird seeing two Moes around our town. Oh, I'm just but anyway, about a, a great tennis match I saw once. he can be mistaken for Mo for 12 hours, fear fire for 60 minutes, 10 bar for 8, prepare for the Ice Age for 24, and find a mate for 4. You, well, actually, I'm half monster, half Armenian. Pick your poison. So, we'll check out him over there, tending to bar over in Moe's cavern. We got a little raccoon running around, which I'm not sure why we have a raccoon because raccoons were not around when cavemen were around. But anyway, another story in the classic infallible three act structure. Yes. All right. So there's caveman Mo. Quite cool. Um, I wanted to show off something. Oh yeah, I just wanted to show off the uh, building sounds for the mom and pop hardware and the Springsonian Museum because I did not show them off in the last video. Pretty much this one is your standard store uh, sound. And this one is your kind of museum sound. <coughs> Somebody coughing. So, Lisa's also got a quest, so I guess we'll check out what she's got to do. Look at this, a transitional species. Further proof that evolution is real. Or a clever ruse concocted by the great intelligent designer upstairs to test our faith in his divine creation. Gets harder and harder to cling to that line of reasoning all the time, don't it, chief? You have no idea. Tap the Darwin fish. Alright. So that's all of the prizes for Act 1. Pretty cool stuff. I think my favorite is probably the dinosaur lake. I just think it's pretty cool and it'll come in handy when designing. Um, when we return for Part 4, we're going to go through and unlock the items purchasable through the store. And uh, don't worry, we still have a lot of stuff to cover. I'm going to cover... The Donut Day update, just show off that a little bit more in detail. We still have this awesome but strange Rags to Riches update, or Road to Riches, whatever you want to call it. Um, we also have all of the crafting items that I must unlock for you guys as well. And we also have the excavation site prizes, which I will get to um, as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. This was kind of a bombardment of information, I know. Um, I just... I learned a lot about this update since my previous upload, so I had a lot of stuff to cover and talk about. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and like I said before, if you guys missed the previous two videos, please check those out, because if not, you will have no idea what I've been talking about. It's kind of just the introduction and the most important videos to the update. And uh, stay tuned for the purchasable items through the store, which is going to be act uh, part four of Act 1. Thank you guys again for watching. Keep on tapping, and peace out.